Alright, well, my claim is about, I feel that Subway is like a more nutritional uh, asset for a balanced meal when like you're dining out uh, over the unhealthy morals of McDonald's. So in the scenario of like Subway having their own like create your own sub where you could like provide your, uh, you have the self liberty of like adding your own healthy uh, veg uh, vegetables. Well, on the other hand, McDonald's goes around uh, serving a high balanced cali uh, calorie heart attack meal. Uh, I'm going to a quote uh, from uh, Jared Fogle. If you guys know him, he was fluffy and he got thin. <laughs> He's the subway guy. So uh, this was like right off the subway website and it says 15 years can you believe it i'm proud to reach this major milestone and this in my commitment to leading a healthy and active lifestyle while inspiring to inspiring of others to do the same when i first when i first read this i was like wow 15 years all i could think about was like 15 years of accomplishment and yes you could think about mcdonald's and oh we have a clown <laughs> but like, why, like to me personally, I do not like clowns, so that guy could stay away from me. <laughs> um, and like the statistical uh, benefits is like McDonald's has they spend two billion dollars a year just for advertisement, and they have thirty four thousand uh, stores, no restaurants. There you go. Uh, as for Subway, they only spend twenty. 290 million, and they have 30,903 uh, restaurants. So, can you see that obviously McDonald's is try hard, but they can't really uh, stoop up to the level of Subway? And another, uh, if you were to go to McDonald's and you were to get the 20 piece chicken McNuggets, that's 940 calories. And for sodium, that's 1,800. If you were to get the crispy chicken, that would be 620 calories, 1,200 sodium. But if you go to Subway, and my personal favorite is the meatball marinara, for the, for the calories, it's 480, and the sodium is 950. For the oven roasted chicken sub, it's 320 calories, as the sodium is 640. So. In conclusion, I just really hope you guys make the right choice, and I know you'll see a McDonald's, but you know, just step into the subway. <laughs> All right, you start off with a general comparison, and it's pretty easy to follow. Uh, the supporting material, you've got the quote uh, at the very beginning, and that works fine. And then you've got things that could probably fit both in the factual data category <laughs> or in the statistical category. Uh, at one point, you identify it as falling in the example category. So I gave you credit in factual data and in examples. I didn't really call it a statistic because you didn't, and that's fine with me. Um, and you know, there's a lot of comparison uh, statistics on the uh, calories and the sodium, for instance. I do think you want to give us uh, the source on those. I don't think there's much. Uh, it's not like there's something that's unbelievable about what you're saying, uh, but I do think you want to tell us where the information came from. Um, I thought that uh, you did a little bit too much reading at the beginning of the speech. You were a little better uh, later on. You had some fun picking on McDonald's because of the clown. I don't know that that's really relevant to the point that you're talking about, but it does make the speech a little bit more entertaining. Uh, and you had a nice summary at the end, finishing off. All right.